Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday. I'm on my way home from work and we're gonna do a little Monday reset today because I was not able to do it yesterday since Rob and I were away this past weekend. I already went to the grocery store so I'll show you guys everything I got and let's do it. First, grocery haul. You guys know Whole Foods is my main grocery. That is where I went today. And first up, vegan scones. I already ate one in the car because I was starving, so there's only three in here. But normally there's four. And then for snacks, I also got popcorn and these cactus grain free chips. Eggs. Bananas. I got some tuna. I always get the tuna salad there. It's really good. It's really easy to just like grab and like put on a sandwich or put on some salad. I got two things of broccoli. And I got this turmeric ginger chai tea. I have this company. This is the brand that I drink their tea that I showed you guys in a previous vlog. It's like a ginger, I'll show you. This brand, this is the tea I bought in like a previous haul that I really love. It's just like a hot tea. It's Merrick Ginger, so I decided to get this Merrick Ginger chai blend because I really like this. And then I obviously got a regular chai as well by Tazo, I got a bunch of lettuce. So this baby red lettuce by Earthbound and the Kale Caesar chopped kit. I got an Asian inspired chopped kit and the avocado ranch. This one is so bomb, I'm obsessed. And then I got two things of tofu, this high protein tofu, this baked tofu, it's teriyaki flavor. Two different creamers, this one's cinnamon roll and it just looks, I feel like that would be so good. Hi, please focus. And then this one is actually almond creamer, so it's not oat milk, but this is cookie butter. I got this in the Hamptons and it was so good. So I got it again. Two RX bars. Peanut butter, chocolate, maple sea salt. Some Forager cheese. I've been in the mood for quesadillas, so I feel like that would be good for that. And I got some plant-based, I don't know what this is, oven roasted turkey, I guess it's supposed to mimic. But anyway, I've had this before, it's not bad. Rob's also had it, he also says it's not bad. These peanut butter Emmys cookies, the ingredients are so good. It's literally coconut, agave, peanut butter, peanuts, peanut flour, Himalayan salt, and vanilla extract. Some organic sweet potatoes are already cut up into like french fries, so I'm just gonna put these in the air fryer. I've got some vegan ranch for my salads. And you guys know the deal, my ginger carrots that I'm literally obsessed with. The coconut cult yogurt. This is a little expensive, but the ingredients are so good. So again, coconut meat, coconut cream, coconut water, um, and then like a probiotic blend in this. 
The last thing I got is by Fix and Fog. It's a pumpkin pie butter. And normally, a lot of times, I'll make our own like peanut butter almond butter. But this just looked so good. I just really, really wanted to try it. And again, ingredients were just really, really good. It's just peanuts, cashews, powdered sugar, pecans, pumpkin powder, sea salt, almonds. Simple. So that's everything I got from the grocery store. I need to put all of this away. And I also need to clean out my fridge. I want to kind of wipe down my fridge too because garbage goes tomorrow so i want to be able to like empty my garbage at the end of the day and put like all the bad food and everything in there so let's let's get that going strawberries I bought last week and they're about to go bad so we're gonna cut these up put them in a bag and freeze them is organized I just put all of our vegetables in here all of our proteins are in here and then this is pretty much all the stuff we had already eggs yogurt fruits whatever's up there veggies more fruits milk and then that's just like leftovers from last night but nice and organized Next up on our reset is doing the dishes. I have some dirty dishes that are from this morning and from last night. So we're gonna get these all cleaned up.
Kitchen is clean. And we're gonna move on to the TV room. was not made this morning and I also have a bunch of stuff to unpack from the weekend and laundry that I need to fold and put away so we're almost at the tail end of our cleaning saga <laughs> Five o'clock, I'm still doing laundry, but I'm gonna make myself another lemon ice water. And I'm gonna make a little ginger turmeric tea. going to make our task list for tomorrow so today is the 26th tomorrow is the 27th All right, task list for tomorrow complete. And I like to go through all of my emails and all of my work stuff before 5.30 because I try to like turn off all work related things by 5.30. I usually just do it on my phone. the house but I need you to put your um like rude shirt and your like sneakers and stuff away all right when you're coming I'll be in soon all right love you bye love you bye so it turns out I do have a little bit of work I have to do so I just want to be comfortable. I think I'm going to do my work from bed.
this is something that I've been using more and more and it's becoming part of my night routine I just take this foot cream and I rub it all over my heels all over my feet and it smells literally amazing it smells so good it's just nice to have something like super moisturizing at night to put on I'm gonna grab my ice roller my skinny confidential ice roller and go sit with Rob Jupiter will be closest to the Earth today since 1963 and until 2129. The planet will be visible and appear particularly bright to the naked eye. Hmm. So you want to go out in like an hour and see if we could see it? Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer, the murderer. He's a murderer? Jeffrey Dahmer. I think he cool. ate them too. Yeah. Ate them? Milwaukee cannibal. Cannibals, they ain't ate people. <laughs> Serial killer and sex offender. 17 victims between 78 and 91. Did they kill him? Uh, I don't know. Did they catch him? And What's necrophilia? Having sex with dead people. Like my skin is getting so much better. I do want to do like a little laser treatment at some point, probably closer to my birthday, just to help with like my skin texture a little bit. I feel like my skin looks a, a little red because this light is like such a warm light, but yeah and i want to go back and do the laser under my eyes i had under my eyes lightened like a few months ago and i noticed a huge difference but it is something you have to keep up with which is a little annoying because obviously nothing of those t like none of it's inexpensive it's a little costly to do anything like that so i'll keep you guys posted but i feel like my skin is really like cleared up a lot because it was having a little bit of a freak out for a little while there. Um, I just wasn't eating well and I wasn't washing my face every night and doing my skincare every night. And I wasn't drinking enough water for sure. <laughs> so that's something if you are trying to figure out like why your skin is acting up. And it's not hormonal or genetic. I would really look at like your diet. It's something that literally changed my life. Because I used to have like horrible, horrible um, skin for a while. And yeah, it was really all from the inside out. I had to focus on what I was putting in my body. And it really had little to nothing to do with the products I was using. I was spending all this money on these products that like I didn't need to buy um you guys see the products I use now very few of them are like expensive products most of them are like drugstore brands so anyway I thought I would just give you guys a little update on my skin I've just been washing my face with CeraVe in the morning putting on that Clinique moisturizer and at night same thing um, but I use the Indie Lee um, facial wash at night because I find that it's just like a little bit more I don't know I don't want to say intense but I feel like it cleanses my skin a little bit better and if I have makeup I always use like an oil cleanser to, to rinse my makeup off first and then I'll clean with the Indie Lee at night but 
yeah, I've been cutting down my skincare to just my Clinique moisturizer. I really haven't put anything else on in the morning or at night. And I just feel like simplifying my skincare did wonders for my skin this past week. So that and obviously drinking a lot of water, I noticed a humongous difference in not just like my gut health, but my skin, everything, my nails, when I don't drink enough water, it's everything just go, goes to shit <laughs> so drinking water is huge it's something that i continually try to emphasize throughout my day and like focus and make sure that i'm drinking like a couple refills of my yeti if not more so anyway i am going to read a little bit before bed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye